wireless technology isn't exclusive to cell phones. Marsha Walton reports on its many applications in this edition of Tech Trends. What are my new messages? Sure. This email is from... Mark Hall. The subject is... Budget proposal. Serengeti, due on the market later this year, is a virtual personal assistant that hooks users up to their computers from any phone. Read it. It can read voice or emails, look up a number or address, and helps users act on information, not just receive it. Now, come on News 4 at 6.30. An urgent email from Jim Campbell was received today. Read it. You didn't let me finish in this morning's briefing. Pretty soon, you too will be able to do what Vicki Page is doing now. What are my appointments? Use your cellular phone and get your virtual assistant to do things for you. I can access my calendar, my address book, my email, my voicemail, news, stock quotes. Vicki Page, it seems, can do it all. Read my news. She's still talking to her virtual assistant, and the other thing about this new technology, when you tell it what to do, notice... Call Jim Campbell at work. You don't even have to say, please. General Magic up four and seven thirty seconds. Microsoft acquiring a minority stake in that communication software company. You're watching KNTV 11 San Jose. General Magic is banking its future on a product to make your life easier. Today, they got some help. We're all set to meet with Darth Enterprises next week. Give me a call. Bye. Delete it. Take one high-tech message service, add six million dollars, and you're talking magic. General Magic, to be specific. What we have is a system that you can literally tell the system what's important to you. That software provider, General Magic, was one of the most actively traded stocks in the NASDAQ today, soaring more than four on news that Microsoft is investing $6 million in the company, will use the technology in some upcoming Microsoft products. First Business, America's business news and information leader. And business software company General Magic more than doubling after Microsoft invested $6 million in General Magic. CBS New York, WCBS News Radio, 88. But this small company, NASDAQ listed a $2 a holler stock, ticker symbol GMGC, is doing something that has caught Bill Gates' attention, and Microsoft will license some of General Magic's technology. Details on this one are just coming up. Talk Radio 790, K, ABC, Los Angeles. This is one of those days when some magic works and some doesn't. It is working definitely on the shares of a Silicon Valley company called General Magic, which in huge volume this morning is trading up $3 a share at a price of five and one eighth. What with Microsoft taking a minority stake in General Magic, which makes integrated voice and data products. WBC Boston, News Radio 1030. One big winner, the Silicon Valley company General Magic, trading up three at a price of five and one eighth. What with Microsoft taking a minority stake in General Magic, which makes integrated voice and data products.
from the financial capital of the world, New York City. This is Moneyline. General Magic nearly tripled the biggest percentage gainer on the NASDAQ. Microsoft paid $6 million for a minority stake in the voice and data services provider. This is News Channel 5, today in St. Louis. General Magic is working on a system that will let users access their voicemail, electronic mail, address book, and faxes via telephone using spoken commands. Magic is developing voice recognition software, an area that could not become the next big thing in the computing world. CNN FM, the financial network. Well, why don't we bring folks up to date on what your company is up to these days? Sure. Well, the, the company is, uh, has moved into uh, creating a second generation virtual assistant. We've codenamed it Serengeti. And it allows uh, uh, users who are highly mobile to have access to all of their important information. The voice recognition uh, and existing products from uh, IBM and Kurzweil and Dragon, uh, they're either speaker dependent, meaning you have to train them, or uh, they'll work with anybody's voice. How does yours work? Ours is entirely speaker independent. Uh, and in fact, uh, in addition to that, we can work with any of the devices that are out there. For example, Windows CE based handheld devices, uh, PIMS on the desktop, uh, Palm Pilot devices, and if we, we can synchronize with the databases in those devices or on the desktop, and uh, for example, your Rolodex can be synchronized into the network. Once it's there, it becomes immediately speaker independent, available to you to make phone calls and act on the information that comes to you. Well, when should we uh, be looking for your product to be a uh, service available to us? Uh, we are on schedule to deliver in the uh, middle of this year, we, which we promised about a year ago to our investors and we're right on track.